Good evening to you. Good evening anywhere where you are joining from. I want to say good evening to you. I hope you are blessed like we are blessed here. There are some important cases that, uh, hello, I have a lot of questions, but I will ask them all at once. I'm going to answer all your questions in the next few, few minutes. If you have just joined the broadcast now, please quickly share the broadcast. Share it on your groups, in your groups. In your on your timeline share so that people will know that CR1 is live. I have something important that I need to share with you, African brothers and sisters. Something very, very important that I want to talk about today. Something that I want to share with everyone today. Mm -hmm. Please, if you have just joined and you know that you are a Jagaban, you love the truth, you enjoy hearing the truth, you believe that Africa is going to be saved and open their eyes one day, share the broadcast. Mm -hmm. Let everyone know that CR1 is live. Share the broadcast. Share it in all your groups. Share it also on your wall. Let people know that CR1 is live so that we can start. Good evening. Moti Chilo, good evening, Jagaban. Sir. <laughs> Papa, Corona is increasing here in Zambia. I'm going to talk about it very soon. Levi, let's say go through African spiritualist. <laughs> of course. Why don't you answer, Richard? Richard, I don't understand. Have you sent me any message? Good evening. Hi, boss. Just don't have much data, but I love you. Mbali, God bless you, Mbali. We are watching, Papa. That is Miriam Mulenga. God bless you, Miriam. This man doesn't respond to WhatsApp messages. I respond to WhatsApp messages, but unfortunately, there are so many WhatsApp messages that I have here. Thousands, 40, over 40,000 WhatsApp messages. I respond to them one after the other. Please, I'm waiting for you to share the post so that we can start. I have something very important that we are going to talk about today. Talk to us. Tell us the information, Papa. Kelvin, God bless you. I'm about to start talking in the next few minutes. See, I want, I'm broke. I need miracle money. Please, you, after the broadcast, you will hear the procedure on how to get miracle money. Very easy. I'm going to be talking about it towards the end of the program. Papa, I'm very, very happy to hear from you. Uh, Michael Ibok. Wow. Laura. Laura, God bless you, my God. So many people have joined. So many people are joining. Felix M. Felix Kafiwe, we are in praise of Jagaban. Help us. Of course, we are going to be talking about so many things about that today. Richard Mupepe. Good 
good man see a one god bless you that didn't finish reading it i need miracle money i'll be telling you how to assess miracle money towards the end of this program i sent you countless sms's even email chimsy but you don't respond i respond to them as you know that uh, wow i've seen my young brother kilopas vow joining us all the way from nigeria it's a pleasure to see you papa I love you. I love the work you are doing in Nigeria. And so many people have been talking about what you are doing in Nigeria. I thank God for you. And I love you so much. How are you, man of God? That is Akim. How do you think about Corona Medicine in Madagascar? Those are the things that we are also going to be talking about today. Papa, I need my recommend to sustain. Okay. <laughs> Boma Lusambo is giving us problem here in Nigeria. No, <laughs> he has stopped giving people problems because he's humble now. He doesn't beat people again. I don't see him beating people anymore. I see that he has changed. He has stopped beating people. He don't beat people again. It's no longer giving trouble to you. Glory. I just have to climb to my bedroom so that we can, you can have a clear picture of what I'm about to do tonight. If you have just joined us, please share the broadcast so that your friends and everyone can see. Everyone can see. See, one is this program live? Yes, this program is live and direct. It's live and direct program. Before we start the broadcast, before we start the broadcast today, I just want to say, everyone that have joined me, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love what is happening in your life. Many people are sending me messages. You are saying, see, I want, since I started watching you, my mind, my mind is open I'm not afraid again. I'm not a fear, fear person. See, I want, since I started watching you, my, my brain is open. See, I want, since I started watching you, I'm having self-confidence. See, I want, since I started watching you, I am seeing changes in my life. Many people that were afraid to face the challenges are waking up to face the challenges. Many people that we are not respecting African culture are beginning to respect African culture. I'm receiving a lot of encouraging testimonies. People's life are being changed. People are saying, see, one, our eyes are opening since we started watching you. A lot of them, so many of them, so many of them, so many testimonies coming from all over the world. People from America, people from London, people from Nigeria, people from Zambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Namibia. People are saying, our eyes are open in Siawan. You, you are telling us the truth. You are making us to realize our identity. You are opening our mind. I just want to say thank you for all those messages, encouraging messages that you are sending to me. And uh, uh, somebody said, there is something wrong with the voice. Please find out for me if the voicing is okay. Is it okay? Can you hear me correctly? Before I start, can you hear me correctly? Can you hear me correctly before I start talking? Can you hear me? Is, is the sound okay? Somebody saying the voice is not okay. Somebody saying the voice is not okay. Please find out for me if the voice is okay or the voice is not okay so that I can adjust. Give me a reply. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Someone, why not say, I just sold my TV. <laughs> Please say, send, send that comment. I want to read it again. I love what you just said. <laughs> send it, send it, send it quickly. Is the voice okay? Somebody complained that the voice is not okay. So, so many people are... So you see, when you are opening our eyes, now we are having self-confidence. Now we are Jagaban. We don't fear anymore. We don't, we don't care anymore. We see, Iwan, you, are, you have really transformed us through what you are saying. Mm, through what you are saying. See, Iwan, you have really changed us. Thank you. 
crystal cake him say the voice is very clear thank you for that so i want to thank you for all those good good messages that you are sending to me but uh, before we proceed i just want to say this like i always say if you know that you don't like the truth this is a page of people that love the truth the truth is very painful. The truth does not favor anyone. This is a page that deals with the truth. We don't, uh, we don't uh, uh, talk to favor people or to disfavor people. No, we, we call a spade a spade. Whether you are white, you are black, we talk the truth here. Nothing but the truth. So if you are watching this telecast and you know that you don't love the truth, you don't love the truth. You know that you don't love the truth. You know that you are, you are brainwashed already with Christianity or Muslim or any other religion. You don't like the truth and you don't want to hear the truth. Please, I want you to leave the broadcast because I'm going to offend you in the next few minutes. You know that you are a political cadre. You, have, you are a political cadre. You are a cadre. You know that you are a cadre. You know that... You're, you're, you know that you're, you have a political party whereby when I talk about them, you come and tell me, speak about Nigeria, speak about this, speak about that. Please, I want you to leave. I want you to leave. Uh, I want you to leave. Uh, uh, um, I want you to leave the broadcast now, please. Leave the broadcast because what I'm going to talk, you will not like it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I say the truth. I call a spade a spade. If... I'm lying, somebody can take me to court. But if I'm not lying, then you know that I'm saying the truth. So if you, you know that you are a cadre, you don't want to hear the truth. You are a boot licker. You always want to lick the, the boot of your president. You want to lick the boot of your leaders, corrupt African leaders. You want to lick their boot. Please leave this broadcast. Go and go to another papa's page or another mama's page or go to your political page and they stay there and hear what they want to say what we say here is the truth we don't lie godfather does not permit his children to lie we don't lie we don't deceive people so what we say here is the truth and when i lie here somebody can take me to court i am 100 percent human being i am 100 percent spirit if i speak lie against you you are at liberty to take me to court so those of you that will come here now and say, please, uh, talk, talk, you want to tell me what to talk about on my page. I just want you to leave the, the broadcast because here we only say the truth. We don't lie. We say the truth. Understand what I'm talking about? So as we begin, I just want to address, first of all, people that are using my name to steal money from people. Today, a woman called me from Zambia, and I was driving, I was going to help the less privileged. I received a call from Zambia, and this lady told me, to. he said, Papa, I have gotten the 2000 I want to go and deposit the 2000 I said, 2000 for what? Mm -hmm. 2000 for what? I said, the 2000 you asked me to deposit into your account so that I can, I can make miracle money for you. In Zambia I said it's not me I don't ask people for 2,000 I don't ask people for money I don't ask people for money I will never ask you for money on Facebook it's not possible many of you have lost thousands upon thousands if not going to millions to people that are using my face to people that are using my name to steal money from you Please, followers of Siawan, followers of Siawan, Jacobans, you that watch my program from all over the world, Siawan can never ask money on Facebook. I don't have any representative in Zambia. I don't have any representative anywhere. This do as I say product is a very expensive product. It's not even something I post on Facebook. You can never see me post about it on Facebook. I always say anyone that wants me to do spiritual work for them or you want to have material 
of do as I say. All those things are on the website www.prophesia1cfm.com. You go there, you go to the store, you see those things are very expensive. It's not what you will get for 2000 So there are people in Zambia that are telling you, deposit 2000 When you deposit 2000 I am I am going to perform miracle money for you. When you deposit 2000 I'm going to give you ring. I don't even talk about the ring because those things are not public things. Do as I say, I can even address it. Uh, 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 in, uh, on Facebook, I can even put it on uh, on uh, on the website. But the ring, I can't talk about those things. Those are very serious things. So anybody that tells you, see, I want, I am a representative of see, I want deposit two thousand. It's a crook. It's using my name to steal money. People all over the world are losing thousands upon thousands to this type of people that are using my name to steal money. I don't ask anybody money on, on, on Facebook. Even on WhatsApp, if you call me and say, see, I want, I want you to do this job. You are directed to the website where you will see the product, the do as I say product that will help you solve your problem. It's not me. I can never ask you for money. CRN cannot ask you for offering. CRN cannot ask you for seed also. So those of you that are depositing money, you are depositing money to criminals. I want to show you something on this page quickly. This is one of those fake, uh, fake pages that I want to show you something about so that you, you, before, that is before we start, so that you don't make mistake and fall victim of evil ones. You don't make mistake and fall victim of evil ones. If you look here, there are so many of them. They are so uncountable. For example, take a look at this. You can see there are, there are uncountable people who are claiming to be CR1. They are, they, are, you, they are uncountable. They are uncountable. All these people are crooks. All these people are criminals. They are using my name to steal money from you. This is not me. This thing is not me. These are criminals. For example, look at this one. You've seen this one. You've seen this one. You've seen this one. This one is having 10,000, only 10,177 uh, uh, likes. This is not me. This is a crook. This is a thief. This is those people that are using my name to steal money from you. This is those people that are using money. This is the last thing that they posted. This is the last thing that they posted. And this is something that they posted claiming to be me. And I want to assure you that this is a political issue. This is a political issue. This is not me. This is a political issue. I believe Kadas created this page so that they can distract the followers of CR1 from the truth. And they can use this thing to steal money from people. This is not my page. Please, any, any, any of all of you that are sending money to this person, all of you that are sending money to this person, please, I want you to know that you are wasting your money. All of you that are sending money to this person, I want you to know that this young man has crooked you here. This is not CR1. This is not CR1. I was talking about the ring and so on and so forth. This You can see the number. You can see the number. This is not my number. My number is 078-993-5144. That is the only number that I have. That is the only number that I have. You see this number? It's a crook. And there is a number he's using on WhatsApp. Those of you that he has crooked before, you can quickly uh, type that number so that people will know. There is a Zambian number that he's using on WhatsApp claiming to be CR1. This is not CR1. This is what they posted about Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua here. You can see that. You can see that. You can see that they posted this thing so that they can confuse my followers. <laughs> 
they can confuse my followers <laughs> you can see you can see they are crooks you can see there are too many of them uncountable that are claiming to be see one so avoid these people there is another one is called me say prophetic let me show you but there are so many of them but uh, i think i have to address this uh, few before we 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 mm -hmm. We start our, our uh, we go deeper on what we want to talk. You can see this one. This is another thief. This is another thief claiming to be Sia one. You can see. You can see. This is another thief claiming to be Sia one. Uh, this is another thief claiming to be Sia one. So all of you that are sending money to these people, all of you that are sending money to this person, is eating your money. I will never ask you to send 2000 from for me. I will never ask you to send 2000. Do as I say it's a very expensive product. It's not a 2000 thing. And even when you write me on WhatsApp, I only have one WhatsApp number which is 078-993-5144. It's here on my Facebook page. After the program you can get it. Even when you write me and you say, see a one, I want this, I want that. I will personally refer you to the page. I will tell you, go to the page on the, on the website, www.prophecyawancfm. And they chose a product, Mary Nkafu say, is this life? Yes, this is life. I will tell you to say, go there on the website and choose the product you want. You can see those products are not cheap. It's not something I can tell you to say, Go and deposit 2000 for me. What do I want to do with 2000? It's not something also I can. You, I don't have a representative in Zambia or anywhere in the world. When you are talking to CR1, you are talking to CR1. And the only on this page, and the only on this page, and the only on my, on my uh, WhatsApp number, which is on my. On my page, after this program, you can get it. Apart from that, please, don't listen to anybody. That page posted something and saying, Elia Mbalisi say, is this life? Yes, this is life. That person posted something claiming that I am attacking Prophet T.B. Joshua. I can never attack Prophet T.B. Joshua. I know him. I always tell you, all of you that are watching me, what we know in our kingdom, what we know in what we do, is that we don't lie. If you lie, it's a sin against Godfather. You can even be killed. When I tell you yes, it's yes. When I tell you no, it's no. I said from the beginning, there are only three people that I respect on earth. And when I tell you that this person is real, believe me, it's real. Of all the prophets, all the pastors, bishops that I've seen on earth, I'm not against anybody. But there are only three of them. That I respect. Number one is Godfather. That is my spiritual father. The one that gives me power. The one that is behind me. The one that beat drum for me in the bush for me to come and dance in public. Number one. Number two. Senior prophet T.B. Joshua is a spiritual person. Mia Lusolo say, are we life? We are life. Senior prophet T.B. Joshua. I respect him so much. Number three. Bish, uh, uh, Pastor Lukoya of Mountain of Fire Ministry. These are the only three people that talk, that I, that I can talk. I listen. Apart from that, no one else. Why am I saying this? I can never write something bad against T.B. Joshua. No matter what. Even if, he, even if you offend, I will never speak against him because I know who he is in Nigeria. I know, we, I know, I know him in Nigeria. I know him in the realm of the spirit. I can never speak evil against Prophet T.B. Joshua. He's a powerful person. He's not a joke. He's not a suit-wearing prophet. He's a person that understands spiritual work. He knows what he's doing. He knows, he knows his job. He has power. I know him, so I can never write something bad against him. So those people that wrote something bad against Prophet T.B. Joshua so that they can uh, cause fight between me and my followers, it's a lie. 
good followers of CR1. Ben J is this life, Papa? Yes, it's life. Those people that follow CR1 properly know that I respect senior prophet TB Joshua. He's the only prophet I know on earth that has power. I'm not against other prophets. I'm not against other pastors. But I'm telling you what I know. Because I know where I'm coming from. I know Prophet T.B. Joshua. I know what he can do. It's not a joke. I know him. I know he's... I don't want to talk too much here. Yeah. So I can never disrespect him. I respect him. The same way I respect Godfather. The same way I respect Papa Olukoya. It's the same way I respect Prophet T.B. Joshua. Prophet T.B. Joshua is a great prophet. There are some people that are talking stupid things against him. You ha At least, anyway, opinion is free. You can talk what you want. You can do what you want. But I respect him. Those people that posted that thing, claiming that Sia One was attacking Prophet T.B. Joshua, know that I can never do those things. In December, I was in synagogue. I was there. I know what I'm talking about. T.B. Joshua is not an ordinary person. T.B. Joshua... Is a powerful human being. I can never attack him. Never. I can never attack him. Even if he does bad thing to me. I can even if he speak bad thing against me, I will never attack him because I know I know where he's coming from. I know the, the what is playing drum for him in the bush that is making him dance in public. So I can never never attack him. I will never attack him. He's a man of God. He's a power. I don't understand. Those of you, those of you that don't know him, you don't know what you are talking about. Check his background. Check where he's coming from. Check, check, check him. You don't know him. So I can never attack him. Never attack him. Never. There is a man of God that attacked him. You know, there is, this thing of Pentecostal church is a very big. Pentecostal is a very big problem. There is one man of God that went to visit him one day and he was praying in the mountain. He invited the man of God to the mountain. As they were praying, the man of God came back to South Africa here and said, I went to T.B. Joshua Mountain. I saw him with a snake. I saw him playing with a snake. I saw him cuddling a snake. That man of God died of cancer. Hello? There are people you cannot play with. T.B. Joshua is one of those people that you cannot play with. I know where he's coming from. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know where he's coming from. So if you wrote something, if you cadas open the page to write something so that you can distract my, my followers, it's a lie. Kapenda Izumbo say, is this life? Yes, it's life, my son. His life, so I can never attack him. So those of you that we are panicking, has Papa started attacking Prophet Tibisho? I can't attack him, and I cannot even attack any man of God. I can't unless you start me. Unless you start me, unless in your thing that you are doing, you mention my name, then you are finished. You are gone completely. You mention my name, no matter who you are, you are gone. We are going to follow you. That is, is, I'm talking about power. I'm not talking about joke. I'm telling you the gospel truth. You are finished. I don't, I never, my fight is not against men and women of God. I can never stand here and say, because that man of God is using anointing water, it's fake. I can never say that. I cannot stand here and say, because that man of God is using anointing oil, it's fake. I can never say that. I can never stand here and say, that man of God is selling sticker, it's fake. It's a lie. God can use anything. God can use sticker. God can use anything. I don't speak against men of God. I speak against religion. I speak against religion. Augustine say, is this life, Papa? Yes, this is life. Moses Banda, is it life, my mentor? Yes, this is life. I can never speak against any man of God. You can see those pages that are writing something bad, saying I am attacking Prophet T.B. Joshua. Those pages are those that are using my name to steal money from people. They are using my name to steal money from people. 
They said deposit 2,000. Like I said, a woman called me today. And that woman is saying, see, I, wanna, I have the 2,000. I want to deposit it. I said, 2,000 for what? What is it for? What is it for? What is the 2,000 for? He said, the money you asked me to deposit. I said, I, I, I'm not chatting with you. Those of you that are busy depositing 2,000 in Zambia, those people are stealing your money. I don't have a representative in Zambia. Every of the materials, all my materials are there on my website. If you want them, you go to the website. Or you send me a WhatsApp message on my WhatsApp number, which is on this page. Say, see your one. I want the product. I will tell you what to do. I can never tell you to send me money through uh, AT money. AT money for what? Those are the people that are stealing money. Those are the people that are writing rubbish against Prophet T.B. Joshua. You are going to die. You don't know Prophet T.B. Joshua. I swear. Those of you that are speaking rubbish against him, ask question. <laughs> there is no one that speaks against Prophet T.B. Joshua that succeeds. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Once you speak against Prophet T.B. Joshua, you become a fool. You become a fool. Once you speak against Prophet T.B. Joshua, you become a fool. Even those people that left his church that time, that other lady, Bisola, that was speaking rubbish, where is she today? She's finished. Those, if, if you speak against him, eh, he does spiritual work. He will, he, will, he will do something to you. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not about Jesus, Jesus, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. He will do something to you. <laughs> Don't speak against him. If you want to speak, you can speak against your prophet and disorder suit wearing pastors and jumping up and down pastors. Leave TB Joshua. That man is going to cripple you. I swear upon God, Father. Be very, very careful. I want to. I want us to look at something that is very, very important. The reason why this broadcast started this night. I want us to look at something very, very important. <laughs> somebody asked me, somebody said, See, Awan, I always hear you say, uh, I always hear you say, uh, uh, religion is bad. Religion is not good. Religion is evil. What is important is a relationship with God. See, mm -hmm. how do I develop a relationship with God? How many of you want to learn how to make a relationship with God? Believe me, what I'm going to teach you now, eh? mm -hmm. what I'm going to teach you now, is going to open your eyes. It's going to open, it's going to open your mind. This one is very, very important. How many of you are saying, I want to see your comment. You are saying, see a one. See a one. I want to learn how to create a relationship with God. I'm tired of religion. I'm tired of religion. I'm tired of church. I'm tired of mosque. I want to create a personal relationship with God. I want to have a personal relationship with God. How many of you are saying it? How many of you are saying it? How many of you are saying, I want to create a relationship with God? See, I want, I'm tired of praying without result, fasting without result, going to church without result. Now, I want to know, see, I want, how can I have a personal relationship with God? I want to see your comment. I want to see your comment. Let me see you so that I start. Let me see you so that I start. Okay, I see you. I see you. Now look at this. Let me teach you something that will open your brain very well. I said Christianity is fake. Muslim, same thing. Other religion, every other religion, same thing, they are fake. They are created by men. They are not created by God. It's a man-made thing. They were not made by God. It's not the will of God for me to be a Christian or for you to be a Muslim. No, no, no. All these things we are created and made by men. The will of God is not for you to become a Christian. Or for you to become a Muslim. No. All these things, they are made by men. 
What is the will of God for you? Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Let me read something for you. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And the Bible says, I'm reading from King James. And God said, let us make man in our own image and after our likeness. And let him have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the cattle and all over the earth and everything and every creeping thing that creepeth upon earth. 27. 27. So God created man in his own image. <laughs> he created man in his own image. He created man in the image of God. He made the man to be like him. He created male and female to look like God. 28. 28. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and the, over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Every human being created, whether a Muslim, whether a Christian, whether a Hindu, whether whatever you are, every human being created does not need religion to be like God. You are already made in the image of God. Even without Christ, before New Testament, before the coming of Jesus, you were already like God. You were created in the image and the likeness of God already without any religion. Without any religion, you can die and still go to heaven. Without any religion, you can die and still go to heaven. Mm -hmm. The God that created you, the God that created you, created you in his own image. The God that made you, made you in his own image. You don't need to give your life to Jesus Christ to go to heaven. It's a lie. <laughs> big lie. The, big, the greatest lie. You don't need to give your life to Muhammad to go to heaven. It's a lie. Already, you are created in the image of God. Already, you are God himself. If you tell an African person to say, show me how Jesus looked like, you will start looking for one white man with a very long hair and point the white man and say, this is how Jesus looked like. It's a lie. You were already created in the image of God. He didn't say, and I created this person in the image of God and created a black man in the image of Satan. No, everyone that is created on earth, you have the image of God and you are supposed to be like God. You we are created to be like God. Let me tell you the reason why you don't need to give your life to Jesus before you go to heaven. Anybody that is created is created with a conscience and a conscience. When you were born, even without you going to church, even without you going to the mosque, you know what is good and what is bad. <laughs> when, as you were born and started growing up, you know what is good and what is wrong. Those of us, when we are young, we used to steal our parents' money. We are very, very young then. We are very, very young. We used to steal our, our parents' money. By then, we didn't know anything about Jesus. We didn't know anything about going to church. We didn't know anything about Christianity. We used to steal our, 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 our mom's or dad's money. Anytime we go 
to steal the money. There will be a voice in us that will tell us what you are doing is not good. We are, we are young. We don't know Jesus. But there is a voice in us that tells us stealing is bad. We have not received Jesus. We didn't go to church yet. But there, are, there is a voice in us that tells us stealing is bad. Anytime we want to fornicate, when I was growing up as, as, as somebody who doesn't know anything, when I was growing up and I had a girlfriend, anytime I want to do something bad with that, my girlfriend, when we walk inside the bush, I know my conscience will tell me what you are doing is bad. I was not yet a believer, but there was a voice in me that was telling me what you are doing is bad. That, that voice inside you is the God inside you. <laughs> I'm telling you the gospel truth. That voice that tells you when you want to fornicate, you are not a believer, you want to fornicate, that voice tells you don't fornicate. That is God inside you. He's speaking through you. Believe me. You already created like God. You have the consciousness. You have it. You have it. You have it inside of you. God is already inside of you. Those, believe me, let me tell you something. You are listening to me now. You we are not a born again. But anytime you want to steal, there is a voice in you that will tell you stealing is bad. Is that Satan? Can Satan tell you that stealing is bad? No, Satan cannot tell you that stealing is bad. It means God is already in you speaking, telling you what is good and what is bad. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? That is why me personally, anytime I want to read Bible, I go to Old Testament and read the Bible. Believe me, you are not a believer. You are not a believer. But anytime you want to do something bad, there is a spirit in you that tells you what you want to do is bad. Tell me, is it Satan that tells you that thing? Is he not God that tells you that thing? It means God is already in you. From the time you were created, God was already living in you. God is already in you from the time you were born, from the time you were created. You were created like God. You are reasoning like God. You are talking like God. You, are, you, you, you have power like God. The problem started when Christianity came. Because we were sleeping. When Bible came, because we are sleeping, the people that are wiser than us, white people, they got the Bible and changed it. Any book that is written and they say you will not remove anything and add anything from that book, that book will never be corrected. It's a lie. That is why today everyone is writing their own Bible. Pastor Chris is having his own Bible. Other, there, are, there are thousands of versions of Bible that people are writing. Anybody can wake up and hijack Bible and change it. Believe me. <laughs> Why? The truth is that God loves us. Whether you are a white, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Christian, God loves us. But because, because of our stupidity white people took bible and changed it and tell us that you can never challenge it <laughs> who told you that you can never challenge it <laughs> who told you that you can never i know i i know exactly i know exactly what is good god has given me the conscience to read what is good and what is wrong I know it deep down myself. That is why I am like I am like God. God has created me in his own image and in his own likeness. He gave me the sense to know what is good and what is wrong. But the problem we have today is because we are sleeping. White people took it and hijacked it. White people brought in religion. God does not accept religion. 
God does not want you to be a Muslim or be a Christian. God does not want you to be a Hindu. God wants you to be like him. That is why he created you like him. He has given you all the consciousness. Most of you that are listening to this program and you are saying, ah, what is here I'm talking about? Ah, what is here I'm talking about? Many of you are born again. Many of you are Christians. But you can agree with me that you are born again, but you are still sinning like an unbeliever. The same voice that was talking to you even before you gave your life to Jesus, to tell you stealing is bad, stealing is bad, stealing is this, stealing, stealing is that, that same voice is still talking in you. Nothing changed. Religion came in and brought a name to between what God created. God loves us so much. God doesn't want us to, to have religion. God doesn't want us to say, I am a Christian, I am a Muslim. Can you see that since religion came on earth, problems have not stopped on earth? Today, America is killing people in number in Yemen, killing people in Pakistan, killing people in Afghanistan, because of what? Religion. They are Muslim. Today, a Christian would never, a Christian would be afraid of Muslim. A Christian would never believe that a Muslim will go to heaven. A Christian would never believe that a Muslim is doing the right thing. Is it the will of God? No. God created us. We don't need any religion. Christianity tells you that you must give your life to Jesus before you go to heaven. And if you read about giving your life to Jesus, it's talking about baptism. It's talking about baptism. And what is baptism? Baptism means accepting a white man's name. That's what it means. Baptism means, immersion baptism means changing your name from your name Original name, African name, to an English name. You must accept an English name. That is baptism. And when you do that, then you are ready to go to heaven. It's a lie. Pure lie. Pure lie. So you are telling me that I must change my name. I accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I change my name from a name that my parents gave to me that has meaning. I change it. I, I now take a white man's name, Andrew. Then that is the only time I will go to heaven. If that is the case, then God is doing pasha. Then God loves white people more than he loves black people. If I have to change my name to go to heaven, then I don't want to go to heaven. I must be here on earth like Jehovah's Witness. What is giving your life? Many people, many, so many brainwashed Christians, so many brainwashed Africans don't even know that they have lost their identity because they want to be called a man of God. They want to be called children of God. Part of the reason why you must give your life to Jesus, according to the New Testament, part of the reason why you must give your life to Jesus is that your name must change. And you must adopt an English name so that you become a Christian. It's a lie. It's a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam to enslave Africa. It's a scam to enslave us. It's a scam to enslave Africa. If you are an African, you must not accept that type of religion. A religion that will tell you to change your name and adopt an English name is a fake religion. Whether it's Christian, whether it's Muslim, it's a fake religion. I said it before. I said it before. If you want to marry a woman, if you want to marry a woman here in Africa, that woman must drop her name and take your name. That woman must forfeit her name and take your name. Why? Because that woman will come now and be under you. That is what this type of religion is trying to say. If once you change your name, you become a slave. Once you change your name, you have lost your identity. This is what Christianity is all about. I see many people who are saying, Shaky, ba, 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 After speaking in tongues, their life still remains the same. I can tell you something. Like somebody said, why are you against Christianity? Because Christianity is fake, just like any other religion. 
I can tell you something. The white people that brought religion to us, they don't take it serious the same way we take it serious. A white man will not have problem with you praying. Believe me, a white man will not have problem with you praying. You can pray from here to Jerusalem. They will never have a problem with that. 1,000 people will come to you in the church. They are having HIV and AIDS. And they ask you to pray for them. You are praying for them. White man will never have problem with it. WHO will never, never, never have a problem with it. But once you do a real thing, for example, you find a physical cure for HIV, you will be arrested. They don't have problem with you praying because they know it does not work. <laughs> they know that you can pray from here to Jerusalem. It will not work. They know that you are wasting your time. They will never fight you. There is a man of God in Zimbabwe. Prophet uh, Magaya, Walter Magaya. I think it was last year. Last year, he, 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 together with some Indian people, he came out and said, I have found cure for HIV and AIDS. <laughs> Just for saying that thing and being an African man, he was arrested and persecuted. But he has been praying for years for people. No one had problem for that because they know that those prayers are not working. They are doing nothing. But once an African person finds something real, they are going to arrest that person and persecute that person. Look at what is happening in, uh, in, uh, in Madagascar today. Look at what is happening in Madagascar today. Just look at exactly what is happening in Madagascar. The president of Madagascar is saying that we have found a cure for Corona. <laughs> Just by saying that alone, the, 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 the WHO did not even give time to try it, to check if it's working or not. They killed it immediately. They, quack, they closed it because an African has found a real thing. They closed it. But if that man was praying and saying, Jesus, 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 Holy Ghost fire, they would never have a problem with that. <laughs> African people are mentally slaved. Religiously slaved. That is why poverty will continue killing us here in Africa. Because religion has taken away our identity from us. Jesus loved us. God himself loved us. The way God created us, he created us in a way that we be like him. We are already like him. We are already like him. We are already, he created us in his own image. We don't need Christianity to make us to be like God. We are already like God. We are created like God. Christianity was brought in by white people so that they can colonize us again. And they have colonized us. That's why you see country like uh, Tanzania praying against Corona. When the Bible says there is time for everything. You can pray. Prayer, you can pray. I also pray. I, um, I don't condemn prayer. I pray also. Prayer is good. But you, when you are ignorant and they are praying, your prayer will not go anywhere. That is where the Bible says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. We have been brainwashed. Believe me, they have used Christianity to brainwash us. Since you have started praying, tell me the truth. Tell yourself the truth. Since you have started praying, since Africa started praying, look at the great, we, in the whole world, in the whole world, Africa is having the greatest ministers of the gospel. Africa is having the greatest minister. Africa is having the greatest prophet. Africa is having the greatest bishop. But look at us. Today, while we are praying and having the greatest ministers here, we are still waiting for United Nations to give us money to cure Corona. Can't you see that those things are not working? Those things are useless. All those prayers that we are praying, we cannot even produce our own ventilators. All those fasting that we are doing, national days of prayer, 
we cannot even take care of our people that are sick. Why? Why? Because we have chosen to be brainwashed. Somebody's jumping. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. Who gave you that name? It's not even God. It's not even Jesus himself that gave you that name. When Jesus came here on earth, Jesus refused to have a religion. People were congregating in the, in the, in the, in the synagogue. Jesus was meeting people in the bush. People were congregating and preaching in the synagogue and preaching inside the house of God. Jesus was meeting people in the bush. Jesus refused to be, associate himself with religion. Religion is fake. Religion is fake. Even when Jesus went to synagogue, he performed the miracle. He healed the man that had a withered hand. And the, the people that are brainwashed by religion, they are telling him, don't you know that today is a Sabbath day? You are not supposed to heal people. And Jesus said to them, who is the owner of the Sabbath? Jesus refused to associate himself with religion. Then how can you associate yourself with religion? Jesus was never a Christian. The, the, this Christian you are talking about, this name was given to us by unbelievers. It was a name given to a Christian. Search your Bible. If you are reading this, if you are following this broadcast, if you are a Jagaban, if you love the truth, find out from yourself. Where did this name Christian originate from? It was a name given to us by unbelievers. When the time of Pentecostal came, the people of God, the children of God, his disciples, they were in one house singing and clapping and jumping and celebrating. And the people from outside the building saw them and said these people are behaving like christ so therefore they were called christians it's not a name that was given to us by god god does not want us to be christians god does not want us to be muslim god wants us to have a relationship with him that's why he created us in his own image we are already like him we don't need christian to be like him white people twisted everything so that you must come and they do baptism. When you do baptism, they give you an English name. You throw away your African name. When you throw away your African name, you have thrown away your identity. Anytime you throw away your name, African name, you have thrown away your identity. You are no longer who you are. You are finished. Believe me. You are finished. As an Africa, open your eyes. The same way you pray, is it the way white people pray? Tell yourself the truth. The same way you pray, the same way you pray, is it the way white people pray? Even in your church, ask yourself a question. If you are watching me from Nigeria, if you are watching me from South Africa, if you are watching me from Zambia, how many white people do you see in your church every Sunday? They don't take it serious. They, why they are busy working, you are busy praying and they are laughing at you. Ha 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 ha. Prayer is good. Don't get me wrong. Prayer is very, very good. But don't allow yourself to be colonized. Jesus himself said, while you read the scripture, search the scripture. Because he knows that at a point it will be hijacked. The same way Bible was hijacked is the same way democracy has been hijacked in Africa. If you don't know, let me tell you something today. Let me tell you something today. Let me tell you something today. Today, if you are watching your Al Jazeera news, if you are watching your Al Jazeera news, if you are watching this program and you are watching your Al Jazeera news, you will hear that Bank in Israel is a bank that politicians we are using to loot money. To loot money. Bank in Israel is a bank that politicians we are using to loot money. Israelis. They are, they, 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 American politicians, African politicians, they steal money from us. They go and bank it in Israel. Many of you Many of you are even crying. 
I want to go to Jerusalem where Jesus was buried. I want to go to Jerusalem where Jesus... <laughs> I laugh. If you go to Jerusalem there, they don't believe in Jesus. Those Jerusalem, they are Jews. They are not Christians. They are Jews. They are Jews. They are not Christians. They don't even believe in Jesus themselves. They don't believe in Jesus themselves. The same way this Christianity came... It, look... Relationship with God is a very good thing. Believe me. Relationship with God. Having a personal relationship with God is a very good thing. Devoting yourself to God is a very good thing. God is not stupid to create you in his own image. And the white man comes tomorrow and tells you that you have to change your name from Ezra to Andrew and baptize. Then you go to heaven. So if I change my name from Ezra to Andrew and go to heaven. Whose name is he going to change to go to heaven also? He doesn't want to go to heaven. Eh? Ask yourself a question. How many white people are answering African name? Our stupid brothers and sisters carry microphone and talk rubbish in the pulpit with their eyes closed. If I have to change my name and adopt a Christian name so that I will become a born again and go to heaven, how come white people are not changing their name to African names so that they can go to heaven? Does he mean that God is an America? Does he mean that God is, is, is a Western person? Does he mean that God that created me and brought me to Africa is confused? Eh? Ask yourself that question. If you talk, they will say, see, I want you a satanist. If I try to open your eyes, you will say, see, I want you a satanist. If I try to open your eyes, you will say, see, I want you are deceiving people. Ask yourself this question. You that is watching me, ask yourself a question. Why must I change my name to a white man's name to go to heaven? Who is that white man going to change his name to, to go to heaven? That is where Christianity was hijacked. I want to say, leave us alone. Let us serve God the way we are. We love him already. He created us in his own image. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't need any religion to make it to heaven. Hello? We don't need any religion to make it to heaven. The same people that br brought Christianity to us, if you have been following this page, if you have been following this page, you will see the videos that I'm posting. The same people that brought us religion are the same people that are destroying us today. Our politicians, we go to them and get loans, billions of dollars they will give to our politicians. And the same people will help our politicians to steal that money and bank in their country. It's the same people. They are the same people. They, we ask for loan, they will give us loan. Like now, they are giving us 50 billion, 90 billion, 100 billion to fight Corona. And our leaders are stealing these billions. And they are helping our leaders to bank that money in their country. They give us with their right hand. They take it with their left hand. And African people is still sleeping. African person is still having a picture of a white man on his wall and saying, this, this is God, this is Jesus. Wake up. My brothers and my sisters in Africa, wake up. Wake up. Stop sleeping. Stop allowing people to take advantage of your ignorance. When will you wake up? See what they are doing with our, our, our politicians. They, they are giving us billions now. You can see. Every country is receiving billions upon billions upon billions. And our leaders are already stealing it. When they steal it, they don't bank it in Africa. They take it back to them and bank in their country. And we go in debt and they will come and start getting our resources. They get our copper. They get our gold. They get our oil. But they are the same people that gave us Bible. There is no, there is no, there is no single African politician that doesn't have account outside the country. Not even one. All of them have account outside the country. They gave us the money. They helped them to steal the money. And because they know that we are brainwashed already. 
They know that we cannot do anything about it. They know that if we talk, they will quote scripture for us. And we will sleep. African people. How many billions have we received from United Nations? You will see. Our leaders have already looted it. Even before it came, they have already distributed it among themselves. They are not going to bank it in Africa. They are not going to bank it in Nigeria. They will not bank it in Zambia. They will not bank it in Burkina Faso. They will not bank it in, a, in, a, in Botswana. They will not bank it anywhere. They will not bank it in South Africa. They will take it back to those people that gave it to us. And they will support them. And they will keep the money for them. They will keep the billions for them. And they will come and give us Bible. And they will come and preach to us. And they will come and, and, they will come and brainwash us. When are we going to wake up as Africans? We have been cheated enough. We have been lied to enough. We have suffered. African person, we have suffered. We have suffered. The people that brought us Christianity, they don't love us. Whether you like it or not. Hello, if you have never traveled, don't comment here. The people that brought Christianity to us, they don't love us, not even a bit. They cannot eat with us in the same plate. It's a lie. Somebody who doesn't love me, tell me how he's going to give me something that will give me eternal life. You, you may be watching from your kitchen. In one village in Zambia, one village in Nigeria, one village in Botswana, or one village in, uh, in Namibia. If you have never associated with the people that say they brought us Christianity to save us, you will never, under, you will never appreciate the truth that I'm saying. If somebody doesn't love me, how is he going to give me something that will give me eternal life? That's why when God created us, our forefathers was doing well without religion. Whether you like it or not, our forefathers, we are doing well without religion. Are you telling me that all those people that died without giving their life to Jesus will go to hell? Then it means you are, you are mad also. You don't have brain. They are using your brain for you. You are telling me somebody like Moses, Abraham. Abraham died and went to heaven. He didn't give his life to Jesus. He was not a born again. How about Moses? Moses that led the people of Israel from Egypt to, 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 near, to the, near to Canaan land. He died and he went to heaven. How about Elijah? All these people went to heaven without Christianity. They went to heaven without religion. Then you are telling me that I will not go to heaven because I'm not a religious person. You are mad. I'm telling you the gospel truth. It means your brain is not working. Let me tell you something you don't know. God is already inside you. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. You we are created in the image of God. You already have God inside you. That is why even before you became a born again, if you want to steal, there is a voice in you that will tell you don't steal. That is God. Even before giving your life to Jesus, you want to fornicate. There is a voice. There is a conscience that will tell you what you want to do is bad. That is God. It's in you. You don't need to be a Christian to have it. If you are watching this program, how many, how many Muslims are there on earth? Study tells us that there are more Muslims on earth than Christians. Are you telling me those billions and billions and billions of Muslims will go to hell because they didn't give their life to Jesus? And you yourself will go to heaven because you gave your life to Jesus. It's a lie. How come our forefathers managed to heal themselves before Jesus came here? <laughs> Ask yourself that question. <laughs> Hello? Our forefathers defeated big sicknesses. In those days, there was war in Nigeria, Biafra and Nigerian war. Those days, 
Nigerian people will shoot Biafra people and they will have wound on their leg. There is no hospital. There is no WHO. There is no this. There is no uh, UN. There is no this. They will go to the bush and get leave, smash it and use it to heal the gun wound for free of charge. No prayer. No nothing. Are you telling me that those you are wiser than them? And today, as we are talking, there is a president in Madagascar that has produced something. And he said, this thing is healing. This thing is healing COVID. This thing is healing coronavirus. People of God, without even testing it, white people are saying it's a lie. It cannot heal. There is no cure. There is no cure. There is no cure for coronavirus. But people are getting healed. <laughs> people are getting healed because it's coming from africa it's going to that believe me that thing will not go anywhere they will they will find a way to kill it completely because it's coming from africa that thing will never go anywhere it can never, never go anywhere. Because it's coming from Africa. When is Africa going to wake up? Every four years, Africa, we are, we are going to carry billions to go and invest it somewhere. Saying we are playing World Cup. We are going to carry billions. Billions. Billions upon billions upon billions upon billions upon billions upon billions. We are going to carry it. Maybe to Korea, maybe to America, maybe to here. We are going to play World Cup and we are not going to win it. We go and spend those money there. Africa doesn't want to wake up. Tell me one good thing that is coming from Africa. Tell me one good thing that is coming from Africa. Apart from prayer. In the whole world, Africa is the highest praying place. And Africa is the poorest. And Africa is the most useless. We are praying and producing useless politicians. We are praying and look at the type of presidents we are producing in Africa. Just look at the type of presidents we are producing in Africa. Many of them love prayer, but they are thieves. They love prayer, but they are thieves. Many of them can pray. They can pretend that they are praying, but they are thieves. Robbers, but they are praying. If Christianity is real, if religion is real, God would have killed them. But because it's not real, that's why they are surviving. A president will finish stealing your billions and call you for prayer, and you go and pray. Hey, believe me. Our president in Nigeria there, I don't know how many billions he has borrowed from, from to fight COVID. How many billions he has borrowed? Nigeria is one of the biggest oil producing nation in the whole world. But we have a president that is a Muslim that claims that he fears God and our, our leaders are looting our resources. And they pray. And they pray. Somebody is saying, in short, you are saying there is no Jesus. There is no difference between Jesus and God and Holy Spirit. Three of them are the same. When I'm talking about God, I'm talking about Jesus. I think you didn't join the program from the beginning. And they pray. The reason why African president, most African presidents are not supporting Madagascar today is because of jealousy. They are jealousy. They, are, they can spend money to go to China and buy the equipment. They can spend billions to go to China and buy the equipment than to go in to help our, our Madagascar president that has already found the cure. Even if it's not the cure, at least go and buy it and start testing it in your lab. Let us support our own. Africa, time has come for us to wake up. Let us not be brainwashed. Jesus, the, even the Bible itself says that Everything that was performed by Jesus was not written in the Bible. Meaning, the Bible itself was not complete. It was incomplete. 
If it's incomplete, so we must challenge it. White man cannot write Bible and tell me that Holy Spirit wrote it. Where did you see Holy Spirit? Eh? Do you know how Bible is produced? Let me tell you something that you don't know. Even if you are watching me now, you are watching me, you want to be righteous. You are watching me, you want to be more intelligent than C1. Find out who are the people that are producing Bible. You understand that Zondervan Publishing Company is one of the com is one of the biggest companies that is producing Bible. The same Zondervan is the one that is producing Quran. And you are telling me that I cannot challenge it. White man finish writing it and say, don't add anything. Don't remove. Don't argue it. Because, because if you argue it, Holy Spirit will kill you. Ta! Kill you for what? We must challenge it. In Old Testament, there was nothing like Christianity. Even when Jesus came, until Jesus died and went to heaven, there was nothing like Christianity. There was nothing like religion. There was the, Jesus, God himself didn't want religion to come in between him and the people. God loves you so much. He loves you so much that he doesn't want anything to come in between you and him. He doesn't want religion. That's why he created you in his own image. That's why he created you in his own image. Don't allow a white man to come here and tell you that you must give your life to Jesus and do baptism and take English name so that you can go to heaven. White man, if I change my name from what my name is and take English name to go to heaven, how about you? Whose name are you going to take to go to heaven? You are telling me that Jesus is your brother or Jesus is your uncle. You are, you are, you are, you are junior Jesus. That is stupidity. That is rubbish. That is nonsense. African people wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Personal relationship with God is very, very important. Love Him. Love Him. There is, there is, there is something that He has put in you. The time He created you, by then, there was nothing like Christian. There was nothing like a uh, muslim he created you and put that inside you you carry him anywhere you go you carry god that's why when you want to do bad thing a voice will tell you don't do bad thing that voice is in you whether you are a believer or non-believer even the greatest arm dropper today before he go and start shooting people and stealing there is a conscience in him that tells him what you want to do is bad that is god speaking inside you if god is not in you it will never happen those of you that, that, that there are thousands upon thousands of people from all over the world whose eyes are open and now you beginning to understand what I'm talking about. If you look at those people that call themselves believers, those, those people that call themselves Christians, these are the people that commit the greatest sin on earth. Those are the people that commit the greatest atrocity. If you want to find jealous people. Eh? Go to church. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Jealous people. Pe jealous people go to church. That place where they tell you. This is where Jesus dwell. Go there. You'll find jealous people. They will gossip you. They will gossip you. They will gossip you. They will gossip you. Until you die. But they are Christians. Is it what God wants? How can... I carry a gun and shoot somebody because he's a Muslim. A somebody created by God, with the, a somebody created in the image of God, I hate him because he's not a Christian. Somebody that God created, God used clay, took many, many years, created him, and then I, I, I come here and say, because you are not a Christian, you are not a born again, you will go to hell. <laughs> then you will go to heaven, you... Eh? The people that gave us uh, 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 that uh, Christian, these people that brought it, they are the people that killed Gaddafi. <laughs> if you don't know, they are the people that killed Gaddafi. What was the crime of Gaddafi? Gaddafi wanted Africa to unite. Gaddafi was talking the way I'm talking. Gaddafi wanted Africa to wake up. Just because he was speaking and Africa was about to be united, they killed him. 
And today they are telling me that, hey, hallelujah, hey, amen, rubbish. <laughs> no, 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 no. Africa, wake up. Wake up. We don't need any religion to take us to God. Our forefathers already had power. I see too many men of God from all over the world. They come here, they collect my supernatural power. They get the do as I say. They use it to perform miracles. And people are going to their church in thousands. And they are telling people, in the name of Jesus, hey, hey, hey. But they are using my power. But they are deceiving millions of people with my power. You don't want to tell them that Africa has power. Christianity found us with power. And the power will not depart from Africa. <laughs> many of them, how many of them will I count in South Africa here, yeah, Nigeria, from all over the world? My inbox is full. Men of God, we want we want something to prophesy. We want something to put crowd. We want something to perform miracle money. I give to them, but they cannot wake up and tell their 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 their, their, their they cannot wake up and tell their members to say power is here in Africa. You don't need to change your name. From your name to carry a white man name to become a born again. It is a lie. People are watching me from Botswana. Of course, in Botswana, there are many of them, many men of God, thousands, they are coming here. They collect, they go to the website, they order the product, they use it in their church. Miracles are happening, testimonies are happening. They don't want to tell the people that power is here in Africa. Power is here in Africa. Power is here in Africa. Before Corona started, I told you that it's not going to affect Africa so much because our forefathers, they are alive, they are watching. Our immune system is strong. Corona is finishing today. Corona is finishing now. How many people have died in Africa? Eh? How many people have died in Africa? Our forefathers, before Christianity came, we had power. Hello? If you are ashamed of it, you are, you are not wise. You are watching this program. You are ashamed of your, you are, you are, you are ashamed of your, your, your culture. You are ashamed of your culture. You, your, your, you are, you are ashamed of who you are. You are ashamed of Africa. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are ashamed of your identity. You are not wise. Africa is the best. Power is here. Many of you are even watching here. Many of you are watching and commenting. You don't even know that God loves Africa. That's why he brought you here. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you a story. As I start taking your questions and they talk about politics because those of you that don't want me to talk about politics it is time for you to go and sleep because i'm about to enter into politics now let me tell you something that you don't know when i was growing up uh, and and after my training with godfather Godfather told me to say, you know, you have to go to Bible school and also learn something. You know, you must learn how to speak English. You must, uh, you must learn how to uh, communicate to people. You must know how to. And uh, I went to Bible school. That was in 2004. Those of you that are watching me, there is a Bible school, you know, where you must stay. It's called West Africa Advanced School of Theology. West African Advanced School of Theology. That, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that school of theology, Godfather told me to go to that school. So I went to that school and started studying in that school. But when I entered in that school, I was uh, humiliated because everybody there knew that I was coming from Godfather. They were telling me, see ya one, mm, you are a satanist. Mm, see ya one, you are a demon. Mm, see ya one, you are, you are going to die. Godfather will kill you. See ya one this, see ya one that. See ya one, Godfather is this. See ya one, Godfather is that. You know what? I became afraid. I became afraid. 
And one day, it was a weekend, I went to Godfather and I told him to say, you know, where you asked me to go to school, they are victimizing me, they are segregating, they, 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 don't, they don't love me, they are saying I'm, uh, that I am occultic, they are saying I am demonic. Godfather said, why? I said, because they know that I'm coming from you, Godfather, so they don't want to associate with me. Godfather, and they said, the, the, the word of God, the Bible, has too much power, and then uh, uh, what you do is satanic. Godfather told me to say, Andrew, come. I went in. He took me to one of the rooms, and he removed the gun, and he cocked the gun loaded it with bullet and he cocked it and then he said come i came he touched me he did work on me he poured do as i say on me and he told me to stand there i stood there he pointed gun at me i was shaking i was shaking i was shivering he released bullet ta, 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 on me when he released the bullet the bullet did not enter I've been attacked so many times in Zambia. I, it's uncountable. Here in South Africa, it's uncountable. The bullet did not enter. Then he said, hey, come back. Come. Sit down. I sat down. He took a Bible. He took a Bible. And he, he put it on top of... Uh, uh, it, those of you that know boutique, they are this thing that look like human beings. Those things where they put clothes, he put that in and put the Bible on top of it and cocked the gun and shot it. That bullet scattered the Bible and scattered that thing. He asked me a question. He said, See, one. He said, Andrew. By then I was not called See, one. He said, Andrew, between this power that you have seen and this thing that you are hearing, chose one. I said, I will never stop serving Godfather because I've seen power. With my eyes. Hello? Even if you are watching me now, you are watching me here today. I want to tell you that I will never stop serving him because I've seen I've seen real power. Those of you that watch me, you say, see a one. See a one. I want to have a visa. I want to have a permit. From here, I go to USA, enter system, and bring out your permit for you. You think it's a joke. Those of you see I want, I want money in my account. I take your account. From here, I program money inside your account. We'll go to YouTube, prophecy I want CFM, and watch everything that I'm telling you. That is power. Supernatural power. Power here in Africa. We have it. Jesus is not against it. God is not against it. That's what God wanted. And white people saw this thing and white people came to deceive us. As you, as you are watching this program today, ask yourself a question. You are watching this program, ask yourself a question. Ask yourself a question. So this one said, don't you believe in Jesus? I believe in Jesus. Jesus himself is God. When you see me talking about God, I believe in him. I love him. I'm not against Jesus. I'm not against God. I am against the people that use the religion to manipulate us. What they are doing to us today, Jesus cannot do it to us if Jesus was here on earth. Jesus cannot support criminals like the president will have today in Africa. Jesus cannot support them. The president that are killing us, stealing from us, Jesus will not support them. But the people that hijacked Bible and did it the way they want, those are the people that have destroyed everything for us. God loves us. That's why he created us in his own image. Simple. He loves us. That's why he created us in his own image. And because he has created us in his own image, it doesn't make mistake. We don't need to become a born again or what, 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 what before we go to heaven. It's a lie. We are, we are ready like God. He's here. God is here. God is here. God is here. Ask yourself, those people that call themselves born again, those are the people that are committing most crime. Somebody will go to, he's a born again. Somebody is a born again, but he's a prostitute. He will go and stand on the street. After prostituting, after sleeping with men, he will carry the money and go and take to church. Born again. 
That's not what Jesus wants. That's not what God wants. Our politicians, when they go to church today, they don't sit behind. They are giving microphone to speak in front. They know our pastors and our, our prophets, they know that our politicians are thieves. Our politicians are thieves. But when they go to church, they give the microphone. They bless the congregation. That's rubbish. If Christianity is real, if, if, if religion is real, no president of Africa will enter in a church and get microphone to speak because they are polluted. They are evil. They are thieves. That's why God doesn't want us to be a Christian or to be a Muslim. God wants us to be his children direct. That's why he created us direct. Can't you see that religion has divided the world? Can't you see that religion has divided the world? Can't you see that religion has divided the world? Even among Christianity, we don't have... Let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something as we start going to the other side. Let me tell you something that you don't know. If you go to church, you will discover that 50% of people in church don't talk to each other. But they are in church, but they are children of God. They don't talk to each other. Believe me. Believe me. They, they go to church. They sit in church. They don't talk to each other. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. In church, they hate each other, but they are in church. They hate each other, but they are in church. They gossip each other. Let me, if you are coming from a family, listen, if you are coming from a family where maybe you are 10 in number, one is going to Roman Catholic, the other one is going to Pentecostal, tell me within yourself, don't lie, say the truth. Because in this, in this page, we are, we are only saying the truth. We don't entertain cadres and over spiritual people. We say the truth. Let me tell you something. That Let me ask you a question. Be sincere to yourself. In a family where there is a Pentecostal, a Roman Catholic, uh, and the other church, tell me, are they united? You can see that this one is saying our church is the best. This one is saying our papa is the best. This one is saying, our papa is the best. You see how religion scatter a family, destroy a family. But imagine if all of us were going straight to God without religion. If all of us are going to church without religion. You know, if all of us are loving God straight, we are talking to God direct. We love him. We, we embrace him as our father. We embrace him as our Lord. We embrace him as our, the love of our life. Without religion, you can see that no one will fight each other. Anywhere where there is a bomb, boom, they will say Muslim has done it. Is that what God wanted for the people that he created for himself? It took him many years to create human, to create a single person. Do you know how many veins that are running in one person? After creating that, and then you come and say, that person will go to hell. Who are you? Who are you? We have lost it. Africa, we need to wake up. We need to wake up. We need to go back to our culture. We need to, we, we need to go back to our culture. We need to, we need to start respecting our forefathers. There are even stupid men and women of God that are prophesying against our ancestors. They are speaking against our ancestors. I said it before. When a white man dies, he goes and rests. They bury the white man, he rests. No one will send the Holy Ghost fire to him. No one will say what you are going through is because of your forefather. What you are going through is because of your forefather. But when an African man dies, you, you make a mistake, you are driving, you nearly had an accident, you go to prophet, prophet will tell you, your father that died nearly killed you. Instead of allowing your father that died to rest in peace, you start sending Holy Ghost fire to your ancestor. You are mad. White people appreciate their fathers, their ancestors, but our ancestors are still receiving Holy Ghost fire today. 
They are still receiving Holy Ghost fire. Believe me, they are st- they don't rest. They are not resting. They are not proud of us. They are crying. Why was I born in Africa? Because of stupidity of religion. Especially now that there is a lot of prophets that are prophesying rubbish. What you are going through is because of your ancestor. Ancestor that lived and died. Allow him to rest in peace. Stop talking rubbish. They are not proud of us. Even the culture they left for us is gone. We are carrying Bible. The culture they left for us is gone. Very soon, there will be nothing like culture in Africa. All of us will be carrying Bible. Oh, Zana. Oh, Zana. Carrying Bible and doing what? Cultures are finishing. If you are watching this program now, look at your village. There are good cultures that we are helping your people. Good cultures that we are healing your people. All those cultures are gone because of Bible. Yes. Gone. Completely gone. Gone and gone and gone. Those cultures are no longer existing. Those cultures have gone. We don't respect our culture. When you are sleeping and you dream of your dead, uh, 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 your dead parent that came to you, when you wake up, you start sending Holy Ghost fire to them. Sometimes they want to communicate a good message to you. <laughs> they want to tell you something important. But when you wake up, you call your prophet. Your prophet says, that is a spirit of dead people. That is ancestral spirit. Kill it in the name of Jesus. Send the Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. How come white people are not sending Holy Ghost fire to their ancestors? Tell me. How come? Our ancestors are crying in the grave. They are saying, ah, it was a mistake to be born in Africa. The culture they gave us, gone completely. The culture they gave us, believe me, today, culture is gone completely. That is why today you can see that a man is, a man is marrying a man. In Africa, a man is marrying a man. Hello? A man is marrying a man in Africa. Abomination. In Africa, a woman is marrying a woman. A woman is marrying a woman. Where are we getting this thing from? The same people that brought us Christianity are the same people that are bringing this type of thing in Africa. It was never like that. When we had culture, we feared our culture. We had, we had righteousness. Those days, it, it, let me tell you something you don't know. Those days, without, when there was no Christianity, a, a married woman can never sleep with a married man. It's not possible. They will be afraid of the ancestors. They might be killed. But today, pastors are preaching in church and they are sleeping with members that are married. They don't care. They don't think about it. And you are telling me Christianity is a good thing. You are mad. Believe me, you are mad. In those days, you see in those days, when there was no Christianity, a woman would never, never think about marrying a woman. They will be afraid. They will say, no, 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 no. This is abomination. Today, (laughs) the same people that brought us Bible, they are the same people that are bringing it here. And I can tell you that here in Africa today, there are pastors that have accepted it and they are wedding them in church. And you are telling me Christianity is a good thing. And you are telling me religion is a good thing. And you are telling me that is what God wants for us. It's a lie. Believe me, in those days, in those days, you will never see a married woman sleeping outside. If he does, the ghost will kill that woman. But today, we have lost that culture. In church, inside the church, behind the church, in the office, pastor will be sleeping with married women. After sleeping, she will come and he will come and say, praise the Lord. And the congregation will say, hallelujah. Rubbish. Nonsense. Foolishness. I know many pastors that come here to collect power. They come with their gay friends, but they have wives. Not one, not two. I don't want to mention anybody's name. Many of them are watching me. They, they have wives. 
They come here, they sleep in a hotel for three good days that I will do their spiritual work. They are sleeping with a lady. They have a wife at home. They are sleeping, they are fornicating. In those days when it was our forefathers, such a thing can never happen. A priest is a sacred thing. But today, because of Christianity, everything has scattered. Everything is gone. Everything is destroyed. Many of you that are watching me now, you are sleeping with your pastor. You sleep with your pastor. You sleep with your bishop. You are sleeping with them. And after sleeping with them, you go to church and the pastor say, praise the Lord. He say, hallelujah. Is that, a, is that what you want? <laughs> I have caught you. I have caught you there. I have caught you there. Eh? I have caught you there. Yes. You must know that Christianity is fake. If Christianity is not fake, you see in, the, in Godfather's club, where we belong there, eh? you cannot lie. If, if you want to go and meet Godfather today, you must start being holy five days before you go there. Even if you were, you you will be holy. If you go there and lie, you will die there. It it tells us no matter the matter, you will never sleep with a married woman. It tells us don't do bad thing, don't do anything you do to somebody. Another person will do it to you. There is there is there is order. In those days. Where there was no Christianity, there was order. Men of God drink. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm 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 not a I'm, me. I don't put myself in the category of men of God. Hello, <laughs> I don't put myself there. But me, I can finish drinking and come to church and preach. All of you that drink will go to hell. That I ne I can never say such thing. Those of you that come to my church, we know that I don't talk such rubbish. In church, in church, pastor is preaching. Pastor is sending his people. Go, that girl that came, get her number. After the, after the church service, pastor will sleep with that girl. And come back next Sunday and say, praise the Lord. And you say, hallelujah. Is this what you want? You know, all of you that are watching this program, you know that what I'm saying is the truth. What I'm saying is not lie. What Siawan is saying, I say the truth. Because the Bible itself says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The people that are leading Christianity are married and getting divorced. Our forefathers never got divorced. They treasured marriage. But look at our big, big men of God. Divorces. They don't even care. They are married and they are cheating on their wife and they are still preaching. That is rubbish. That is rubbish. Do you want me to mention their name? There are too many. They are married. They are cheating. They are cheating. They are sleeping with married men, married women in the church. Let me tell you, today as I'm talking in Africa, there is a, there is a, a what? There is a, Marriage between a man and a man is here. White people have brought it to us here and we are enjoying it. Now we see here in Africa. Here in Africa, it's here. They brought us Bible and they brought us those things. Which one are we going to believe? It's just for you to know that those things are actually man-made things. What is your relationship with God? The time that God created you in his own image. Look at what the Bible said in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. It said he created you in his own image. Nothing is missing. You lack nothing. You are already like God. You are already like God. What else do you want to do to be like God? A white man comes and tells you, put my picture here. And foolish african people some of you that are watching me there is a picture of a white man that is hanging on your wall and you are calling him jesus are you mad who took those pictures when jesus was here on earth there was no camera there was no camera when jesus was here on earth 
There was no camera. What man did that thing and deceive you and you believe it? Many of you even go and kneel down on that picture and pray, Jesus will thank you. What are you talking about? If you want to see how Jesus looked like, look at yourself in the mirror. That is how Jesus looked like. Hello? Hello? If you want to know how Jesus looked like, if you want to know how God looked like, look in the mirror. That is how God looked like. God is already in you. You don't need to become this and become that and change your name from your African name to English name to accept Jesus. It's a lie. It's a fallacy. It's a brainwashed religion. It's something that is meant to keep us in captive. And we cannot allow that to happen. Already there is God in you. From the time he created you, he put himself in you. He, you. You think like God. That's why even before you became a born again, you want to do bad things. There is something in you that will tell you, don't do bad things. That is Jesus. That is God. It's already in you. It's already in you. That is God. It's already in you. What do you have to do? Listen to that voice. Anytime you want to do something bad, that voice tell you, don't do something bad. Listen to that voice and don't do something bad. Anytime you want to steal, that voice tell you, don't steal. Obey that voice. That is God talking inside of you. You, already, you are carrying God inside of you. You are already an express image of God. There is nothing that you need to do. Again, it's inside of you. Listen to that voice. Listen to God speaking from you. If God says... You want to kill somebody. If you want to sleep with somebody's wife, that voice tells you what you want to do is bad. Listen to it. Don't do it. Listen to that voice. That voice is already speaking in you. You don't need the white man's name to become a born again. You don't need the white man's name to go to heaven. You are already having God inside of you. Always listen to that voice. Listen to that voice. Most of those people that are, 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 are doing so many bad things that call themselves believers. That voice speaks in them, but they don't listen to that voice. They don't have conscience. May God have mercy on Africa. May God deliver Africa. Amen. Ask me a question. Let me answer your question. Give me your question. Brian say, true, Papa, you always on point and true without the same Of course, God bless you. Any question? I like you, Jagaban. Emmanuel Nkoma, God bless you. Elliot Chika seems I'm a Jagaban. Of course, Jagaban don't fear. Jagaban say the truth. If you are not a Jagaban, there is no need following this page because you are going to be confused. Like I, I can see many of you are confused. But take my word, few years from now, Africa will wake up. Africa will wake up. Africa will wake up. How can I follow you? I want, I want to teach you more. I want you to teach me more or something. Ask that question again, please. Ask that question again. I have a question. You're always saying that you give power to people. Come again, using, come, come again with that question, please. Say something on Sabbath. Jesus worked from first day to sixth day. On seventh day, he rested. And that day is the Sabbath day. And Jesus said, keep it holy. God said, keep it holy. And that's, where, that's another topic that I'm going to look into. Because I can see that my network is starting to misbehave now. You're always saying the truth. I like your teaching. God bless you. Do we have three prophets? Of God here in Zambia. <laughs> there is no prophet in Zambia. If there are prophets in Zambia, there will be no criminals. This program, this thing is going to cut in the next few minutes because I can see we are having network problem. But immediately it cuts. I'm going to start another broadcast. I'm going to start another broadcast here again that we have to tackle the politics side. So don't go. This thing is going to stop now, you can see, but I'm going to start again now, now, now.